What is good my dudes, Metal Raymond here and welcome back to another video. Today we're doing something a little bit more special. Something we discussed on a live stream and a lot of people have been wanting this. So today we are doing a bank video on the group Iron Man accounts. I've taken the liberty to take all the items that have significant value off of Mr. Ngoba's account. Put it all on MGI Raymond so we can have the most accurate look at our total bank value. This doesn't include every single small little item. I didn't trade over like Zora scales and whatnot. I did take like the cash, uh, big items, anything worth over a bill basically. So we could get it the most accurate as possible. I've also taken the liberty to, t to price check every single thing. I've made a whole ass list so I can give you guys at least a little bit of a uh, guidance on like what is worth how much and all of that stuff. Uh, some of the price checks are a bit rough I have to admit because not everything is as easily price checkable as other things. A good example would be like the uh, Night Terror staff because there's only like three orbs in game, two are owned by Iron Man and only one other is in the actual economy which has sold for like 300 bill for example. So it's very hard to get like accurate price check but I did uh, I did the most that I could and I really hope you guys will enjoy that. Before we get into it and uh, hop onto the MGI Raymond account, we have a double $75 bond giveaway for this particular video. If you want to enter that, all you need to do is of course subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment the ring, get a name down below and turn on the post notifications. If you've done all that, you enter the giveaway, we shall the best of luck on that. If you're new to Runex, you want to try it out for yourself, please do use the link at the top of the description, it helps us out a ton if you do. And of course, make sure you join the Runex Discord and my own private Discord. Always appreciate it, always stay up to date with news and all of that good stuff. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this bank video. It took me a lot of time to clean up my bank specifically for this. So, uh, if you enjoy, please hit that like button. Let's get into it, boys. Alright then guys, here we are on the MGI Raymond account. We're gonna get right into this because it's probably gonna be quite a long video. So starting off, we have a little bit of a junk tab. We have some price caves, uh, defenders, all of that shit. Stuff I didn't know where to put and uh, all together just a little garbage. So let's move on right away. Here I have a little rune coin tab, items that I plan to rune coin or want to rune coin. And a Xenite chart, honestly, I don't even own one. So let's get rid of that for now. Uh, I mainly camp those nowadays to drop trade them anyway. But as you can see, a bunch of dragon items, a lot from the Elite Gothor's Dungeons and or Nightmare slash Terror. A lot of that stuff, you know, Zami items. Yeah, just general stuff that I'll get rid of in no time. A few gems to increase the uh, rune coin value if you put it in a machine, but nothing special there. Then we have a bunch of pets, which I'm just now realizing I never included in my original price check. But I don't think it will make that much of an impact. Uh, over here we have some promo pets, uh, grand promo pets even, then some like uh, superior ones, baby colossal, uh, nitro devil, philosopher's hydra, few skilling pets, some pets that I can't rune coin because they were never added to the rune coin machine, uh, some event pets like the uh, lunar demon, the evil snowman, a giant mole pet, a zora pet I can't get rid of, shadow phoenix pet I obviously used that one quite a bit. Penumbric Demon and Galvec are probably my uh, most used pets. Real quick, I put you in here. This one has uh, all my accessories on it, for example, where the Penumbric Demon is a full uh, special restore pet. We have a Froze Dragon pet, once needed it for a Master Clue, but other than that, nothing special. Blood Phoenix pet recently got that from an Epic Pet Box. Probably gonna rune coin that anyway. Moving on to the next tab. It's a bit of a cosmetic junk tab. I didn't really clean this one up because I CBA. It's all fucking trash anyway. Like Ambler Scroll, Infernal Fetish. Shit that I can't use. Being able to grab a pet from your Slayer task, kill a chicken, you'll have a chicken pet. Whoop de fucking do, you know what I mean? But most of all, you know, it's just cosmetic junk, random items. If I wanna. You know, do a little bit of fashion scaping, I suppose I would go to this tab. But honestly, it's not all that useful. Next up are my stackables, I would call. Um, we have a bunch of elixirs at the top, for example. No infernals as usual, because they run out extremely quickly. But a bunch of uh, Lux, Fortune, Dragon, Greed, whatever you can think of, I have it. Vials of Blood, the Charge, the Scythe, a bunch of random tokens. Uh, catalysts are always empty because I do bag of token enchants a lot. Legendary tokens from all the demonic gorillas I've killed. We own like three of those blessings for 250k tokens each. Resource tokens, VIP tokens, I switch those up. And we have our luck tokens and epic lucks running low on them. Lots of nightmare camping. A few elite tokens, donator tokens, sponsor tokens, mythic tokens, all kind of trashy. 
Karazi teleports, 100 Vork have teleports. One day I'll get to this, but I don't want to waste my Epic Lux on that right now. Some task bottles, totems, Grand Crest pieces. We own a lot of those in our group armament. These are all combined. I did trade them from Go by Mister. We uh, just have no Crest piece tree, unfortunately. Some crystal keys, Nightmare Coffer scrolls, Chaos Mummy scroll, Acumenical shards, obviously good for instance, Elite, God Wars Dungeon. Just been stacking those up. King Lava Dragon Teleport, saving those for Dragon Hours during the next event. Revenant Teleport, kinda trashy. Curse Shards, mainly used for Grand Crest Enchants. Pandora Tokens, not enough to really buy anything with. Some Event uh, Scrolls, saving that for the next one. Same with like Holiday Cakes, and I think I have some other items similar to it, like, uh, like the Spooky Scroll. Summer Cocktail, some Lava Keys. Eldest Shards of Zaradomin, got them once from a superior a long, 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 long time ago, have never gone back to Zara since. Scrolls of Augury, absolutely useless. Some hats to reanimate, but I don't know why I would. Some more Master Task Bottles, Ancient Shards, we do need to be stacking those up, but that will come in the future. Ecumenical Keys for God Wars Dungeon, a Narda Scroll, some Zemi Shards left over from making the Spear, Cursed Keys, some Prayer Flask, Trading Stakes, Wimpy Feathers, you name it. Just like junk but a bit more useful junk that i might need at some point and then like tokens elixirs all that good stuff over here i don't really have a classify tab but it uh mainly for all my raid modifiers i got my uh demonic gorilla pieces in here because i killed a lot of those over time and i recently room coined like 11 heavy blisters i think i just wanted to keep one in case then we have some like assembly pieces as i would call them Odium shards to make full odiums, uh, same with the Malediction. Then we have our pieces for Brimstone Rings, Dark Horns. We have more Dark Horns, but honestly at this point they're kind of worthless. Hydro Tail, Drake's Claw. Yeah, those kind of spingy bingies. Over here we have a bunch of ranged related items, including a blowpipe I no longer own. Like a bunch of different bolts, arrows, knives, darts, whatever you can think of. It went in here because I didn't know where else to put it. Over here we have a skilling tab. Now this is a little bit more interesting I suppose, but still not all that amazing. Didn't really include this in the price check either, but like 5k superior, dragon bones, froze bones, lava bones, orc, wyvern, dragon bones. I guess if I were to sell them I could get a pretty penny for it, but honestly I, I kind of like keeping them in case I do some skilling earns and I need like 1000 dragon bones or 1k lava dragon bones, yadda yadda. Some onyxes, one of the only useful valuable items in here not even much this might be like a hundred mil each but in case i get zenite it's always useful to have bunch of ores seeds planks bars herbs whatever you can think of put the hydro leather and grand lava dragon hide in here as well because i guess technically it would be related to skilling logs molten glass pure essence killer tomes random equipment for it same with like at the top all the chisels and whatnot Dragon Axe and Pickaxe kind of included in here. A bunch of uh, random skilling items all over the place. I kind of put them in there as I saw them. But like uh, Rogue Top helps with thieving and then Safety Gloves boost your XP. Graceful with Marks of Grace. Those kind of things. Some don't even do anything but I thought like an Angler or Farmer Jacket. jacket. Those kind of items fit more in the skilling tab even though they don't help than in like the cosmetic tab. Magic Sectors, Skilling Backpack. Basically anything that boosts my XP or makes skilling more useful, same with lamps. I think that gets the point across, a bunch of skilling tasks though, because maybe I'll use those one day, but uh, skilling update did win the last pull, so if skilling gets a useful update, maybe I'll consider doing it a bit more. A bunch of double XP scrolls, you get those uh, by logging in daily. Haven't used them in forever, I don't care about it. So yeah, let's go on to the main tab. This is where the big bucks come in, so let's settle down and uh, go over everything in this one, because this is uh, this is the big one. Alright, so let's get into this. I do have to say in advance, once again, it's a rough estimate. I didn't include every single thing. I didn't include the few rune coins we have on the accounts, or the things like Grand Looting Bag that are 75k rune coins and whatnot, currency pouch. Wait, grand looting might be less, but you get the idea, the grand promo tokens. Like, not all the items are added, not even like the Vork F capes and whatnot, but you get the idea, right? So let's go ahead and get right into it. Right here we have a combined cash tag of all the accounts, roughly, bro, almost 66 bill, but I wrote it down to 65. There is like another, maybe 1.5 bill on Goldbine, and like a bill on Mister or whatever, but I just took the Platinums to get a rough estimate. 
Then uh, right below that we have intrinsic shards, 454 of them. Those are roughly 100 mil each, making it about 45 bill in those shards. Um, the more you have of them, the more you can sell them for. Like if you have 5 shards from a random E Corp kill, you're probably gonna sell them for like 50 to 75 mil to get rid of them quick. But if you have almost a full shield, you can easily charge over 100 mil per shard. Plus if you make the full shield, probably even more, but that way people can't select what shield they want to make, so that also might influence the sell time on it a little bit. Over here we have some pet accessory upgrades, those are roughly 1.75 bill each, making these 17 of them worth about 30 bill. 550,000 Zora skills, I didn't take them from Gobar Mr. these are just mine alone. That is worth uh, roughly 5.5 bill as well. So that is like the start of my bank, I have a bunch of runes and charms and potions and whatnot, but I'm not gonna price check all of that, that's just a waste of time in my opinion. Let's go ahead and jump right into the big boy items which are coming right here. So, let's start it off with the Crestbearer sets right here. These items here are worth about, let's have a looky looky, the helmets are about 39 bill, because we have 3 of them. The plate bodies 52 bills, 26 each, and the legs 45, roughly 27.5 bill each. Not bad at all. And the full crest root set, this was very hard to PC because they aren't traded a lot in the TP, but I went ahead and said about 150 bill ish. There are some pieces for sale, but that would be like a rough estimate. Then the Encrestral set, obviously a very, very valuable item set. It requires six imbuing crystals to create, and on top of that, a full ancestral set. The full ancestral set goes for about 13 bill, more or less. And then uh, six imbued crystals are worth about 360 bill, making the encrustal set worth about 373 bill. And we have a bunch of Inquisitor items here. These are very, very hard to price check. There are like none being sold in the TP, but I went ahead and set about 50 bill per piece, more or less. I saw someone sell a full set for like a ridiculous price, like 400 bill plus. I think that's way over the top, but if we take it at about 50 bill per piece, we don't even have a helm, which is probably the least valuable piece out of them all. Um, that would bring these six pieces together to 300 bill. Now guys, just, just so you know, don't like go hard in the comments saying, yeah, but Inquisitor could easily sell for less and blah, blah, blah. Like that's not the point. I'm just giving you a bit of a rough estimate. So you have some idea on what to expect and what to compare it to with other items and things like that. It might become less in the future, maybe it will become more if it becomes, it ends up being more useful in different places. It's hard to say, but that's what we're going with for this particular video. Next up, Justiciar. We have three full sets without the helm. <laughs> we don't own a single Justiciar face guard. And I even ended up drop trading a four of legs uh, like a week ago or some shit that I got from a grand promo. But these three uh, plates and legs are worth about 21 bill all combined. And the armed guards are about 3 bill each, making it another 6 bill right there. The Dragon Hunter lances are worth about 2.75 bill each, so 5.5 bill right there. The Dark Sun Spear last sold, uh, Sun Spears, Dark Sun Spears were sold for 60 bill each, so we're gonna go with that on that one. Scythes are currently very expensive, there are none being sold in the TP except for a way overpriced, so I went ahead and said about 110 bill each based on the last sold ones. And the Elder Zamorak Spear is in the TP at the moment for 40 bill, which sounds about right, 40 mil-ish per shard. Now we have two Sanguine STIs, I price checked those at 135 bill total, so 67.5 bill each, 6.75 for the, uh, oh sorry, uh, is that accurate? I think it is, yeah, 67.5 bill. 7.5 for the Sang Staff itself and 60 bill for the Crystal. The Nightmare Staff and same with the Nightmare Terror Staff. Like I mentioned in the intro, those are very hard to PC. I'm gonna go with the Terror Orb going for about 300 bill because that's the only orb that has been sold so far. And the only two other orbs are mine and Flork owns one. He doesn't even have the staff to use it yet. And I just don't see those being sold too often for quite a while because they are very fucking rare. And it's a really good item, so I'm gonna keep that PC at 300 bill for the orbs, and I'll PC the staffs by themselves uh, at 25 bill each. So those two items right here are 350 bill. Then we have three brimstone staffs, so roughly 22.5 bill in total. 
and we have some brimstone ring eyes. I think those are like one bill each, so three bill right there. A grand ring eye is roughly 80 bill at the moment. Brimstone short bows are roughly 7.5 bill each, so that's another 15 bill right there. Five arcane stream necklaces, they are worth about 2.5 bill each, so another 12.5 right there. Amulet of Zealots going for about 2 bill each, so that's another 8 bill right there. And then some items we missed at the beginning here. The Grand Boots Eye are currently in TP for only 54 bill. Literally less than an imbuing crystal. I don't know what the hell that person is thinking. Because you also require the three different boots, which have a really high rune coin value in and of a moan. And then also an Ancient Relic, so this item should easily be over 65 bill. But because someone is undercutting by a lot, I'll price check it at 54 for this video's sake. Two default boots, roughly 4 bill. Then molten boots and gauntlets are about 10 bill combined, 2.5 bill each. We have four of those pieces. So that's already quite a hefty price check right there, but we are not quite done yet. We have some god rings right here. The Ring of Law is currently going for about 2.5 bill each. We own four of those, so that's another 10 bill. The Unholy Ring uh, last sold for less than a bill, but that was before the most recent update where they now work with Inquisitor pieces. And I believe that will easily bump up the price to over 2 bill. There are none in TP anyway. So for now, we'll keep that at 2 bill and the other rings at 1 bill each. The Ferocious Gloves right here. Those are worth about 2 bill each. So that's another 4 bill right there. Elemental Runecraft Gloves, they are not tradable, so I'm going to leave those. Same with the Void. Two Divines, roughly 4 bill each. So that's another 8 bill. Spectral didn't PC, it's really cheap. Two Scorpia Blowpipes, roughly uh, 7.5 bill each, so another 15 bill right there. Abyssal Crossbow is about a bill. Staff of Lights are worth about 2.75 bill each, so another 5.5 bill right there. We have some Brimstone Hammers, roughly 5.5 bill as well, about the same price as Staff of Light. Tormented Bracelet Ornament, very hard to find in the TP, but I ended up price checking it at about 8.5 bill based on the last sold. Book of Fursix, those are worth roughly 2 bill each. We have 3 of them, so 6 bill. Couldn't find a price check for the Archaeologist Tome, unfortunately. Uh, I did end up PCing the Infernix. They are worth about 8.5 bill for the kit. Obviously, you can no longer trade it once you make it. But that would be another 17 bill, because both me and Mr. have one. Only reason I decided to include that is because it is a very endgame uh, TOB drop. So I thought it was worth mentioning, so to say. For Sanguinest Dependents, roughly 20 bill, that they are about 5 bill each in the TP nowadays. Absolutely ridiculous. Don't own any crystals at the moment, so no price check right there. Now we have a bunch of leftover junk. I don't think there's too much worth mentioning in this particular piece. Some Ring of Wealth, some Ring of Greed Eye. But a lot of that can't really be price checked too accurately. Dragon Warhammer is a few hundred mil, not worth mentioning. Third Age Wand is about 4.5 bill. And we also have a Third Age Cloak right here, which is worth about 6 bill, but it was last sold 124 days ago. But that's all I have to go on. There are none in TP, none have been sold more recently, so well, yeah, I'll, I went with that 6 bill right there. Uh, a, boot, a Tome of Shadows, I somehow forgot to PC that, but it's worth in the TP at the moment roughly 10 bill, writing it down real quick to add it to the end. Um, so yeah, that's a really good item as well. And we have a Book of Chaos right here, which is only worth about 1.25 bill. A Zerite Bow, 3.75. Draconic Plate Lags, about 3 bill each, so 6 bill. And Helm, 1 bill. Hey, look, an Inquisitor face. God, grats, dude. Wish that was me. <laughs> then we have another Elder Mole right here, 2.2 bill-ish. And I think that just about rounds it off for all the value. Everything added together brings us to a total price check based on my prices. Oh yeah, I didn't include a crystal cannon, but fuck that. Uh, total price check of 2426.2 bill, or in other words, about 2.4 trillion in bank value. Now, it could be a bit more, it could be a little bit less. Like I said, some are very rough estimates, and I didn't include a lot of items. If you included every single small item, you would probably add some bills right there. An Amulet of Avarice, some Lava Pendants, Efficiency Blessings, uh, all the skilling supplies. Like, these Lava Dragon Bones are worth over a bill, for example. So if you add all of those, and all of that, and this, and other supplies that might sell, Runite Ores, maybe some Bars. You could probably pick up a few extra bill here and there, but honestly, 
That's not what I care about too much. Same with the pets, I didn't PC those either, but a Galvite pet, Penumbric Demon, Shadow Phoenix, Blood Phoenix, those add up, obviously. But yeah, altogether, that's uh, about it for the bank video. This is of all the group Iron Man's combined. I think altogether, pretty fucking successful. It's pretty insane how far we have gotten throughout our journey. And it's uh, far from over, as far as I'm concerned. There are still items we want to obtain, still new things we want to achieve. And uh, I'm looking forward to a lot of it. And Inquisitor's set finishing is uh, definitely one of the top of my list things that I want to get. Yeah, all together, I think we're gonna end it off right here. I really hope you guys enjoyed and uh, found this fun to watch. I have no idea what to expect on this, but a lot of you did want it, so I figured I would make it. I'll check you guys in the next one. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Peace out and uh, goodbye.